Hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Live. Um, I'm really delighted to be able to show you around this incredible home that we've taken over for the week actually and we'll be talking to you about various things. So send your posts in, we're going to really try and answer all your questions at the end um, as much as we've got time for. So I'm delighted to be sharing with you all the products. It's exclusive to John Lewis, so they're about to launch or they are launching. So do bear with us as some things are slightly out of stock right now. Um, what I'm really excited to be talking about is the Croft collection in this first space. So it's a very open plan room, which is an incredibly normal now way of setting up your home. And I do believe it's all about spending time together. And I'm sure we're all living very busy lives. So it's great to have those zones where you can have different things going on in the room, but you can all really be together. So this particular space, it's got a living room over here that pans into a dining room and then moves really smoothly into the kitchen. It's a gorgeous layout. Um, one of the things I really love about the Croft collection, which is now um, three years old now and has become one of our customers' favourite collections and also is a personal favourite of mine, um, it works very well together because the design team plan it in such a way that all the materials, very natural materials, which are a real foundation of Croft and all the colours work easily together. So it's a great kind of foundation um, to pull a, a kind of a look together that works quite seamlessly. Um, so looking at this particular table, gorgeous lawn, um, it's got beautiful natural grain. So rather than being so pared back and perfect, there are almost great natural um, lines to it so that you can create your real memories, potentially lots of stains and family stuff going on. But you know, that's really important to have those um, pieces that are going to last and um, potentially change with you. Um, the lighting is a really key part of the Croft collection. It's got quite a softened industrial feel to it. This particular Clyde collection is one of my favourites. It's got beautiful brass detailing and this particular one has got a hand-blown um, glass shade. It's a real stunner. So going through into the kitchen, which is the heart of the home, of course, um, and it's a really key um, part of the Croft collection. So the cook and dine teams are in John Lewis are real big fans of this collection. And I particularly love the copper. So our Croft collection is inspired by British traditions and the traditional use of cop copper as a, a utensil, something very functional within cook has been long known. Um, so it's great to still be using it. And I think some of the pieces, especially the roasting trays, will be just as gorgeous in your kitchen as they will be on your dining table. So we've got a lot of things going on in terms of that um, more traditional heritage materials and very natural again. So how, how you look after your copper is like you would look after your silver and look after your wood. You have to buy and tr you know special treatments for them. And I think that's part of how you can love your product and keep it for longer. And I think that's a really lovely thing about buying something and having it for life. Um, the Croft collection has a really nice balance of um, formal and um, informal. It's all very relaxed. In fact, it's super relaxed and comfortable. I could stay here for a very long time. Um, and we do have a great new um, recycled glass range, really great tumblers. And I think they're a beautiful um, element to this particular collection. So I'm going to take you now through to the living room, which is a whole different story. Um, so if you're just joining us, um, this is Facebook Live. It's um, a John Lewis residency where we've taken over a home and we'll be taking your posts and trying to answer any questions later. So welcome. Welcome to this particularly splendid uh, living room. So we've called this collection Collector's House and it is very much inspired by collecting and really celebrating the decorative. So where we were in Croft, which is very natural and probably a bit more of a modern take, this is really about a modern take on luxurious and a modern take on, on highly, highly decorative um, pieces and bringing them all together. It's much more maximalist. And I guess you could, you could take some of it and use it in a more restrained way, or you could go even more over, top, over the top than what we have here. Um, 
This sofa is a really gorgeous piece. I think what's exceptionally stunning is the gorgeous velvet as well on top. Um, so I think velvet as a material uh, has grown in popularity and has moved from being rather traditional to being actually celebrated as a very kind of modern material for your home. And the tactility of it is just absolutely gorgeous. And we've used it on cushions, on our upholstery, on our single beautiful um, chairs as well. So it's a really key one for us. So decoration can come through in textiles and it's probably the, probably the place we're most familiar with it. Wallpaper as well, we haven't got uh, wallpaper up in the room today but we have a huge wallpaper collection that supports this story but also there are the objets and I think those objects can come through in different ways whether they're small or large whether they're lighting or a mirror and I just wanted to draw your attention to the Montserrat light pendant that we have up here which is really rather wonderful it's it's almost quite, it just makes you smile. I think it's completely over the top. It's quite eccentric, but it's really, truly wonderful. And I think it really sets off this room, especially, um, and works very, very well. Um, one of the capsule collections that works within this is are inspired by the V&A collection. Um, there are about um, 18 pieces in total. And the design studio went into the V&A, which is the ultimate collector's house, of course. And we really looked at that art of display. So I just wanted to draw your attention to a couple of those pieces. We've got the Fitzhenry cabinet, which is a delight and um, is a great way to celebrate your cocktail collection. And we also have the smaller piece here, which is, um, it's called Victoria. And it's a gorgeous um, little drink trinket box. Um, and has a magnifying glass here so you can examine and look at your own possessions in a whole new way. So within this room I've got one final piece that I wanted to share with you which is a very modern way of decorating. So it's the um, Samsung frame television and we all know what televisions do to our rooms. They can kind of tend to create this very big black box when they're not a television. So what's smart about this piece um, is that when it isn't in use as a television, it does create an effect of um, feeling like a picture or a work of art. And it has a very smart um, response to the ambience of light. So if it's light, it's, um, it's a bit lighter. And now in the, as it gets a little darker in the evening, it's um, toned down a little bit. So it always stays in keeping with what's around it. It's a sm super smart piece. And this particular bezel is exclusive to, um, to John Lewis. So it's a really exciting part of, of this room. And it's a really interesting approach to modern decoration. So now we're going to go upstairs and look at the sleep sanctuary. So, um, of course, the living room is really key, but it's all important that we get a great night's sleep. OK, so sleep sanctuaries. Now, I know we're all talking about whether we get a great night's sleep. Well, a lot of myself and my colleagues' friends do. And I think um, creating a great space is really important. And of course, getting the basics is right. So getting an amazing mattress that's right for you, great pillows, making sure your window treatments are just right. They let just the right amount of light in and out of your bedroom is really important. Um, they might not seem the most glamorous, but they actually make some of the most biggest impacts on your experience. And then there's um, how you kind of decorate your bedroom. <clears throat> and I think this particular, particular way of decorating, it's our design project collection. It's a year old and I absolutely love it. I think the, the bed, we've got a new walnut uh, finish, which is very warm. It's really gorgeous. And then the bed linen, which has a lovely, a lovely worn feel to it. It's actually woven in Portugal. It's a jacquard weave and it's, um, yes, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So you can style it as much as you like. It can be relaxed or as formal as you like. It's totally up to you. And then I think what's really important is all our collaborations that we do with John Lewis. And just looking at this piece here, this is designed by Bethan Gray and is a beautiful dressing table. It's called Genevieve 
and um, it just is a really stunning complement to design project. So what we want to do is take some questions now. Thank you for sharing, uh, sharing the experience of going around this lovely home. Um, so have we got any questions? Yes, we do. Okay. Right. What do we have? So what is the one thing I should buy to update my bedroom? I don't have who wrote this, but thank you for sending it in. Um, I think it's going back to that um, functional functionality. So it does sound boring, but really all those things, including do you have your phone in your bedroom or not? Um, really, it's really about getting that right. And then thinking about what makes you have a great night's sleep too. So whether it's beautiful bed linen that's got a lovely silky feel to it or something more crispy, anything that's going to make you get into your bed at night and feel brilliant. Okay, so we've got another question here. Um, how can I achieve the collector's house look in a small space? Um, I don't think that's a problem at all. I mean, all those pieces range from the enormous and the real statement to very small little things. And actually, I don't think we should be afraid of putting larger pieces in smaller rooms or decorating them with deep, rich paint in smaller rooms. So I think you can definitely create that. Um, yeah, I think it's very exciting. So the third one, um, I often feel overwhelmed when redesigning my home. What would you advise? I think that's such a common, it's such a common experience. And, but what's great now is we've got so many ways to help us. So there's Pinterest, you can start collecting your mood board, you can follow people on Instagram. We've got fantastic boards up there ready to look at, but then you start building your own. And then of course, if you go into our stores, we've got home design service that are ready to help you out, um, chat to you a little bit there in the store, and then you can also arrange to have them visit your home. So I think there's so many um, ways to get that um, inspiration and to help you out. Have we got any more questions? No. OK. Well, listen, everyone, thank you so much. It's been an absolute delight to be able to take you around the residency. And um, you can see more, explore more online and in the store. <laughs>